Hi there, this is Steve Money, the market chartist on behalf of ForexFraud.com. And we're now going to take a look at the dollar, the US dollar versus its uh, G3 compatriot. So that's the euro and the yen. So the G3 currency complex made up of the US dollar, the Japanese yen and the euro. And the dollar yen in here, initially we're looking at um, moving higher more recently, a slight corrective rebound um, towards the end of last week. But critically, the, the, the sell-off that we saw in dollar yen in here through uh, into early June, Closing this bull gap in here, this bull gap back in here from April 109.57 to 109.45, it closed that that bull gap. That was enough to shift the intermediate term outlook for dollar yen to more bearish. Um, in the very near term, there's slight risk to the upside in here. We feel, but on the bigger picture outlook, certainly looking for a more bearish intermediate term view. You see it better here on the daily chart. So we see this intermediate term downtrend trying to resurrect. There's the bull gap with the close of that bull gap. If we go and take a look at the euro, um, also positive against the dollar. In the very near term, yes, we've had this setback in here. We do see potential for a further deeper setback. But the bigger picture outlook remains bullish from this inverted head and shoulders. And that previous push up through that peak there from March at 109.06, re-energizing the bullish theme. And we still see the intermediate term outlook for the euro as bullish, bearish for the dollar. So the, the dollar bearish versus both euro and yen on an intermediate term outlook, although there is short term risk of a slightly positive US dollar correction going into the beginning of this week. This has been Steve Miley, the market chartist on behalf of forexforall.com. And I wish you a great trading week.